Why you wanna let me go? Nah, nah, now Are you saying that you change your mind? For love or pity, let me know Nah, nah, now Cause your love made me, made me go blind Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a what I eat in a day for weight loss and also show you my workout routine as well. I basically shared a clothing haul on my Instagram stories recently and quite a few people noticed that I'd lost a little bit of weight and were asking what I've been eating and how I've been doing it. So I thought I would make this video. I did actually already make a video about how I lost the first 12 pounds in lockdown. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it down below and you can check it out. There's more information in that as well um, but I'm now 16 pounds down in total so far so yeah feeling really good I feel like I've got so much more energy and I'm just getting back to like where I want to be because basically I definitely put on quite a bit of weight in the November lockdown and then over Christmas as well and I was being so sluggish I was like, I need to do something. So from like Boxing Day, um, I've been doing a 12 week challenge really, um, where I'm eating better and I'm exercising a bit more, like nothing crazy. I feel like it is kind of common sense, we all know we should do, but because I've set a challenge, it's really making me stick to it. And I would say like the bulk of the weight loss happened in the first two weeks because I just started drinking more water, I stopped drinking alcohol, I just start, started like not eating any processed food and just thinking, like being more mindful of what I was putting into my mouth. So I feel like I quickly lost five pounds, but then from then I've been just steadily losing maybe one pound a week. Um, so it has been a very gradual um, process, but it's still going down. But anyway, <laughs> I thought I would show you what I have for breakfast. So my breakfast tends to either be a protein shake, some oatmeal, yogurt and granola, or protein pancakes. So it's like normally one of those things. I tend to stick to what I like. Um, but today I thought I would show you a recipe for, it's like an apple pie protein shake and I really like it. For my protein shake, of course I need protein powder and I actually decant mine into an airtight jar like this. Um, but quite a few people ask me which one I buy. So I just got this out of the garage. I keep this huge bag out there and then whenever the jar runs out, I'll just refill it. But I buy the My Protein Impact Whey Isolate In Chocolate Smooth. This recipe would also be really nice with a vanilla protein powder as well. Um, and the reason I bought this one is because the man who helps me with my workouts, he highly recommended this one. So I just bought it and it's very nice. And the reason I've been eating more protein is when I started like this whole weight loss thing, I've been making a note and writing down in an app everything that I eat, every time I eat. And basically every day I never would hit my protein goal. I was eating way too little protein and protein is good because it keeps you fuller for longer and it helps to like repair your muscles when you do start working out. So I basically wasn't getting enough protein at all. So by having this in the morning, it is 21 grams of protein like straight away and it really does keep me full until lunchtime. Um, but anyway, let me show you. I've actually got you leaning on my coffee jar. So I need to just move you because you're not on a tripod. Oh! Right, so this is everything laid out for my protein shake. So first off, I'm putting 200 ml of milk, could be any milk, but I use unsweetened almond milk. I've also peeled and cut up one apple, and then I put in cinnamon, because I feel like that makes it taste like an apple pie. A big scoop of protein powder, and then I'm actually adding a bit of spinach. Not that you need the spinach, it's just that I have it and it's gonna die if I don't use it. So I'm gonna put in a big handful of that, because it doesn't affect the flavor at all. I'm gonna be blending it up in my Nutribullet, so I've got a container off of that, and I've put two ice cubes in there because I really like it cold, um, but also using frozen fruit works really well as well. So I'm just gonna put the milk in, and then I'm just gonna do a big scoop of the, what is it, the powder. Okay, then I'm sticking the whole apple in. And then I'm putting cinnamon in, because like I said, I feel like that's what makes it taste like an apple pie. I don't know, I really like cinnamon. I've done that. And then I'm gonna put in a big handful 
of spinach, but yeah, this isn't in my original recipe. I just really want to use it up. And obviously it's got loads of iron in it, which is always a good thing. And that's it. So now I can just blend it up and drink it with a straw. As I said, we've got a Nutri Bullet because our Nutri Ninja died. If I could go back in time, I would actually reorder a Nutri Ninja. I prefer it over the bullet, to be honest. Um, but it still does the job, so it's fine. <laughs> Oh God, does it? Does it work? Okay, so then I actually just stick a straw straight into the jar because I was pouring it into a glass and then I was like, why am I dirtying two things? I could just drink it out of this. So that's my breakfast. Something that I think has really helped with my weight loss is the fact that every time that I eat something, I write it down in an app. I've done a full review about the app that I'm using. So if you want to know more, you can check it out in the previous video. Um, but because you have to write it down, it really makes you more mindful um, when you're about to eat something. And because you put it into an app, it also tells you how many calories things are. So this is 236 calories. Um, so it's a pretty low calorie breakfast, especially for the amount of protein that I'm getting. Um, but it's just been really interesting. Like the other day I had um, 100 calories left um, from like my daily amount. And I was like, oh, what can I eat? You know, something sweet. Um, and then I checked what a Cadbury's cream egg would be. And I was like, oh, like it was, I think it was like 150 calories or something. Let me just check, hold on. But no, it's 185 calories, that's right. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm definitely not gonna have that. And I ended up having an Oreo because an Oreo was 70 calories. So just little things like that, like I would have had double the amount that I ended up having. It just makes you think more about it. So that's a huge recommendation. I actually do the same. If I'm ever trying to save money or budget, I'll write down every single thing that I buy or that I spend. Um, and that just makes you so mindful about the money you're spending as well. So that's a big tip. And also something else is I've been making such an effort with the amount of water that I drink. Um, so I've got a big um, cup like this. I got this on Amazon and I've also got this one, which is absolutely huge, but they're both supposed to be um, a liter of water. Uh, but someone actually commented on my last video and was like, be careful because they're not always exactly a liter. So I actually poured this into my measuring jug and it was 900 milliliter. Um, so it's nearly a litre and I've been drinking three of these a day. I just find it really handy if I can be walking around with it all day or if I'm at my desk, I've just got it there. If I get in the car, I take it with me and I do go to the bathroom way more, but it really makes me drink more water, which I think is helping my skin and my weight loss as well because I definitely was not drinking enough. I was pretty much just having coffee and tea all day long before. Yeah, but anyway, I'm just gonna drink this and then later on I'll show you what I have for lunch and for dinner as well and my workouts. But I also wanted to say, I do also have a little watch which tracks my steps. I have a Fitbit, but I know so many people have Apple watches and there's loads of different ones that you can have as well. Um, and that's actually really good for obviously tracking how many steps you do every day. I try to do 10,000. Um, so far I've done two and a half thousand and it's only 9.30, but that is running around with the kids and like school run and everything. Um, um, but yeah, if I ever have a day where I'm just at my desk and I really don't do much and by the end of the day I've done like 5,000 steps, then it just gives me a push to go for a walk or like do a little workout. So that is also a huge help. Right, so it's now lunchtime, so I'll show you what I'm having today. I pretty much have the same four or five lunches over and over again. You know, you just like something and it's easy. So it's normally some soup that I make up or it might be an omelet, might be a piece of toast with scrambled egg or a piece of toast with cottage cheese. Um, leftovers is something I often have because obviously work from home. So does everyone actually at the moment. <laughs> um, and I also really like having porridge as a lunch. I love porridge anyway. Um, so sometimes I'll just have that for lunch. But today I'm actually having a bagel and I really love these Warburton Thin Bagels. They're 130 calories for the whole bagel um, because they're that bit thinner. Whereas if you were to have two pieces of bread, like so one piece of bread is like 98 calories or something. So that is like 200 calories if I had a whole sandwich, whereas the bagel is 130 calories, um, but it's very filling and I'm going to have it with some tuna. So I'm actually gonna have the whole can of tuna with a little bit of light mayonnaise mixed in with it. Um, and that is actually, 
that's quite a lot of tuna. Normally I'd like split a can with the kids or with Matt, um, but I'm gonna have the whole thing and then that is 27 grams of protein. As I said, I haven't like been eating enough protein in the past and it just keeps me really full. It's gonna be my lunch. I've also refilled my water. So I've drunk one liter, got another one now, and then I'll have to do one more, which I normally drink the whole thing when I do a workout. So I'm gonna have this, and I'm also gonna have a coffee as well. I tend to only have two caffeinated coffees a day because I found that the more caffeine I was drinking, the more anxious I felt. If I ever have a can of Diet Coke or have a couple of coffees back to back, I get really anxious, and I sort of noticed that, so I don't drink as much anymore. And I'm just having instant. We really like the Nescafe. Cafe Azira coffee and we've actually been talking about getting like a fancy coffee maker in the new kitchen um, but I tend to just keep going back to instant although I suppose it would be nice for like guests and stuff if we can ever have guests again um, anyway I digress so I'm just gonna make up my bagel and then have that for lunch and then what I normally do is have like some sweet and salty popcorn afterwards for dessert it's like quite a healthy snack and it really like I if I ever crave food, I crave like crunchy, like crisps, savory foods. Um, I've been addicted to cheese in the past, um, whereas Matt is much more into like chocolates and sweets. I really like the kind of like crispy food. Let me know if you know what I mean. Okay, so that is the tuna in there. And then I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of the light mayonnaise. This is 40 calories for a tablespoon, whereas the normal full fat mayonnaise is 100 calories per tablespoon. So it's really worth doing like little swaps like this because it just saves me, saves me a bit more. At the moment, I tend to eat about 1300 calories a day. And obviously that is at a deficit because I normally burn about 2000 calories a day. Um, but as soon as I hit my goal, I can obviously go back to eating 2000 a day, and just maintaining. Right, so now all the kids are home from school. So we're gonna start on dinner. Does anyone else eat dinner at about 5 p.m.? Because we have been eating so early since we've been in lockdown. Well, I suppose it's been like the whole year. Um, and tonight, Matt is actually making the dinner. We're gonna, <laughs> he's got his onion glasses out. So Matt genuinely wears these when he's cooking because he's so sensitive to onions. I don't know um, I've got one now. <laughs> I was thinking onions. you're cutting a chicken. <laughs> he just wanted to show off. Um, but yeah, tonight we're having a curry. We love having curries. They're super healthy, just really tasty. So we're gonna have this one. It's a korma one. So we're just using a little paste pot like this. And then we use the lighter coconut milk. Um, we're having chicken, cauliflower, and onion in it as well. And this is such a delicious dinner. But the kids actually don't really want to eat this. So we've also made like homemade um, chicken goujons. So I'll quickly show you those as well. These are the boys' homemade chicken goujons. We just literally cut up a chicken breast, put it in flour, put it in egg, and then put it in breadcrumbs. And we stick it in the air fryer. There's also a potato waffle in there for Caleb. And I think Fraser and Jackson are going to have like some pasta with it. So these are all the ingredients that we're going to need for our curry tonight. So we've got two chicken breasts which have been cut up. We've got an onion. We've got a tiny bit of ginger paste. We actually need to get more of this. <laughs> got a small cauliflower the um, korma paste that I was showing you. We've got a can of the lighter coconut milk. And then we also have half a cup of brown rice. For Matt and I, we normally make half a cup of brown rice and then when it's all cooked, it's about a cup and then we split it. So yes, this is our dinner and I'll show you how Matt makes it. So I've got the brown rice in this pot. Brown rice takes about 25 minutes, whereas white rice takes about 10 minutes. So it does take a bit longer, but it's that bit healthier. And then in this like wok type thing, I put the diced onions and then once they're soft, I'll add the paste and the ginger. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy.
with neon lights Talked about everything that was on our mind. Yeah, so this is our dinner. Matt said it really needs like coriander on top, but we didn't have any. So we're just gonna have this, and I'm still on this drink as well. Right, so it's now about 6 p.m. and I've just made a cup of tea, and I forgot about my popcorn earlier. So I've now got some popcorn. So the one that I really like is this one sweet and salty popcorn and on the bag it says 126 calorie per serving but a serving is 28 grams so I actually have just 14 grams because that is 14 grams so actually quite a lot um, and obviously then it's half the calories uh, so anyway I'm just gonna have my popcorn and tea and I'm gonna take the kids up for a bath and then once they're all in bed I'm actually gonna do my little workout so I'll show you how I do that as well Sorry about the lighting in this room it's not ideal um, but anyway I have a virtual coach called Ben and and he sends me my workouts via an app. Um, so I have a workout to do every day and it's really handy because I don't really have to think about it. I just go to the app and then I just do the workout. Obviously I pay him for that service um, and we catch up each week um, like about how my progress is going and stuff. So I found it really, it's really been nice. But if you don't like have the funds to do something like that, obviously there's loads of free um, workouts and exercises you can do on YouTube. I've talked about it before, but Lucy Wyndham Reed is great. Pamela Reif is great. Joe Wicks is great. Like there's so many that you can do. So I don't know how well this is coming out, but this is how the workouts come through. So today I need to do some bench presses. I need to do um, some squats. I need to do some bicep curls and I just follow um, the workout. Yeah, so anyway, maybe I'll go through each move and write on the screen what I'm doing. Most of my workouts are strength training and then I go for a run twice a week at the moment. I started off doing a run just once a week and now I'm doing it twice a week. And while I'm in our front room, which is like our front room come gym, uh, we've actually had a TV put on the wall now. So it's amazing because when I do my workouts, I can watch something as well and it really takes my mind off of it. So tonight I'm gonna watch 24 hours on A&E because I love that show. It's like a documentary in a hospital and I've got one to catch up on. So I'm gonna stick that on and do my workout. <laughs> I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution. So now I'm just gonna get into my PJs and then have something that I have pretty much every evening. I just really like it. Uh, feels very much like a treat. Um, it's 0% fat free um, Greek yogurt. So I'll have that with honey, sometimes berries, sometimes a bit of granola. I just really like that. And then sometimes if I have any calories left over, I'll have like a dime bar or like an Oreo or something along those lines. But pretty much normally like I use it all up by now. So I'll have to check my app. But anyway, I think I'll leave it here, but I hope you really liked this video, got something from it. Um, I'd love to know all your tips um, down below as well. Um, and yeah, I just think if I can like get back on track, honestly, anyone can, because I find it hard to stay motivated and like, it's just difficult, isn't it? When life's so busy to like make time for yourself and actually like plan out your meals. But 
Um, I'm 10 weeks in now and I feel so much better. So yeah, anyway, I hope you like this video and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.